Hey guys, Rick Personis here, back in another video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Geos drop, like artists as Mala, Rohawk, and Wax Motive, like they did in songs as these. So as you can hear, the Geos style contains really dark basses, quite minimal drums compared to Tech House, and of course the G vocals. So let's start off with the vocals. Let's pick a vocal from the new bass house pack. So let's pick a vocal from the pack. Coming from the west like Kanye. I'm drunk like a sailor, high as a kite. I let's use this one. Where now the vocal is in Tell B minor. All night. Look at all these girls. But I want to drag it down quite a bit to work in around F minor or G minor because the bass is working way better around that key. So let's pitch it down till it's in E minor, seven seven tones, sounding like this. Drunk like a sailor, high as a kite. Apollo 13, I'm about to take flight. Going ham with my niggas and we pouring all night. Look at all these girls, they be twerking all right. Gives way more energy, so... Now we're gonna arrange the vocal to fit in a drop. As I said, this will be the build-up. Then it will be dropping around here, so... Let's cut up the vocal. Look at all these girls, they be twerking. Look at all these girls. They be twerking all right. Just like this. Right. Then just a full vocal at the end of the drop. Look at all these girls, they be twerking all right. So that's it for the vocal. So now we're gonna work on the build up. First, like the build up loop from the pack. We're using this one. Fit it to the tempo. It's in D sharp, so put it up one semitone. Left in E minor. Sounded like this. Then drop in an ambient sound and drag it down three semitones. Just to fit it up some more. Besides that, drop in a riser from the pack. Again, just fit it to tempo. And to finish stuff, we're gonna add a reese bass to it, so... Set a preset from the pack. We'll be using this reese bass. So... So just drop in a steady note. And automate a mod wheel. Sounding like this. So this will be the build up, now we're gonna focus on the drop. So we're gonna start off with the bass. I got this inner preset opens up. So let's pick a preset from the pack. We'll be using this bass. So let's write the MIDI. We're gonna start off on the A, on the root note. For the first three notes we wanna have it hit on the kick. Really add some energy to it. Then I go to the dissonant note. Gives the dark vibe to it. Then the same three notes. So this will be the first bar. Then just copy it over and make a little variation at the last bar. Let's go up to the A. Just like this. So mixing wise, I only added a sidechain to it. Quite a big one to have a lot of room for the kick left. So this will be the sub bass. Now, now I want to layer it. So I got another serum. Let's pick another preset from the pack. This one gonna have a li little bit more harmonics. So we'll be using this sound. Copy over the MIDI and dive to the mixing. Then add a distortion. Make sure to make a bit of room for the sub bass by cutting out the low end. And a little bit of reverb and delay. Because it's not a sub bass. It's not a sub bass, so you can put a little bit of reverb by delay on it. 
And of course the side chain, a smaller one and a sub bass. So together they sound like this. Really dope stack, but I want to add one more preset to it to have a little bit more variation to fill this gap. So let's add another serum to it and pick this preset. Again, just an FM kind of preset, just around here, together sounding like this. So now we're gonna dive the drums. As I said before, they're quite minimal compared to Tech House. So we'll be using these kick, clap and head samples. So for the first part of the drop, we're only gonna use the kick and the clap. So I made this drum loop with it. And then the second part, the heads will come in. Just a real basic drum loop. So now we're gonna add some more groove to it. So first added this closed hi hat And place it here, right at the end of the first bar. Sounding like this. Then I added a snare for the pack as well. And place it right here. Steady off the grid for some more groove. So together they sound like this. Which is dope, but I want to make it a little bit more interesting, so I, I added them to a drum bus. So first I put this vinyl preset on it. So it out. And with it, it gives a really dope type to it. It gives way more character to the drums, so... I think compared with the dark bass, it really adds something. Then I added this bittersweet plugin, it's a free plugin, it's a trash and shaper, so I added a little bit of transient. I make sure to get rid of the low end created by the video preset. That's it for the drums. Now we're gonna fit it up with some more FX. So in bass house, it's quite typical to have a few random effects during the drop to keep it interesting. So I added these shots as well. With this white noise. This random percussion step. Drum fill. And this variation of the drum fill at the end of the drop. Combined with the uplifter from the build up. So all together the drums sound like this. So the drop is almost finished, but I want to add some more to it. So we're gonna add a lead sound to it. I got a serum loaded up, so let's pick a preset from the pack. We'll be using this preset. It's a uh, kind of saw saw lead, so has a lot of portamento as well. So let's start on the root, go to the dissonance, and go back. Just like this. Just a really simple melody. Sounding like this. He says that I want to make a fill with a reese bass as well at the end of the drop. So let's open up the reese bass from the build up. And make a small fill. Going up to the fifth note of the scale and then put it down one octave. Sounding like this. We're also gonna automate the mod wheel. Giving this effect. So that's it for the GS drop. I think it turned out really dope. So we're gonna listen to the final result in a minute. He says that if you like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next videos.